right, fans, here we go. Presenting an outstanding oriental boxer from Seoul, Korea. He weighs in at 134 pounds, white trunks with a black stripe. He is rated number four junior lightweight in the world. A veteran of 48 professional fights. Here is So Kam Il. As his opponent this evening wearing black trunks and a white stripe fighting out of the black corner from Long Beach, California. The world's most promising young lightweight out of the great championship stables of Jackie McCoy. 132 and a quarter undefeated Mondo Ramos. I've already given you instructions in the dressing room, so unless any of you have a question, we're just going to shake hands and come out boxing. No questions? Shake hands and come out boxing. All right, the instructions from referee George Latka. The first of ten rounds, Mondo Ramos, a pound and three quarters lighter in the dark trunks at 132 and a quarter. Su Kang Il at 134 in the light trunks. Many have confused the Korean's last name as being Su Kang the second. It looks almost that way, but his last name is Il, I-L. Su Kang Il, and a very strong backing here in the Los Angeles area. Large Oriental population for the Korean. And impressive credentials in the light trunks. Il has won 66. He's lost only six with two draws. He's 23 years old. Ramos, the young Cinderella, he's 18 years old, fought 17, won all 17, 13 by knockout. Here on our telecast from the Olympic, you've seen Ramos and impressive victories over Len Kesey, Petey Gonzalez, Ray Echeverria, all ranked in the world ratings at that time. Two of the three in the top ten. Ramos wants to be a world's champion before he's 20. And certainly if there ever was one fight in his young career that would determine whether he's ready for that opportunity, this is it. He's meeting a man of the same size. Both are very tall for junior lightweights. They're both near five feet, nine inches tall. Nick, although both of them weighed over the junior lightweight limit this evening, that's 130 pounds, the limit. So Kang Il weighed 134, and Mondo weighed 132 and one quarter pounds. So Kang holds down the number four slot among the world's junior lightweights, while Mondo is rated by Ring Magazine and in the number four spot. The Korean has impressed local boxing buffs who have watched his workouts. And now he's attempting to impress young Ramos and is hurt. Ramos, for one of the few times and perhaps the only time we've ever seen him not fight back furiously when he had taken some solid punches. Very impressive first round for Su Kang Il in the light trunks. Firing and scoring with the left hand.
Brown two and they're both out in a hurry. Ramos in the dark trunks. Su or Sa Kang Il of Korea in the light trunks. And Il had this big crowd of over 10,000 buzzing between the first and second rounds as they all were most impressed by his awesome first round as he handled Ramos with relative ease. A redness around the right eye of Sook King, Dick. Nothing serious, but we'll watch it closely. Hill has defeated one of the men that share the junior lightweight championship of the world. Yohashi Namada, Namada of Japan. Namada, along with Raul Rojas of San Pedro, California, both claim the junior lightweight championship of the world. And this fellow, Su Kang Il, has beaten Namada. And Ramos doing most of the catching. Amazing speed of hand by the Korean lad, Dick. Going to the body. And now it's Ramos scoring. One minute remaining in round two. Now, what do you have noticed tonight, Dick? But these young guys are wearing different brands of boxing gloves. Mondo Ramos is wearing the Flores glove, manufactured up in uh, San Francisco, while the Korean boy is wearing the Sarah gloves from Mexico. The reason for Mondo wearing the Flores gloves is because he prefers them to any other makeup glove. Bleeding at the nose. Final seconds tick off in round two. Ramos in the dark trunks risking his unbeaten string of 17 in a row against polished Korean Sok Kang Il. And through the first two rounds Ramos has been a stable target for the boxing prowess of Il who has flashed extremely quick hands. He's been in with the best in the Orient. Solid right hand. Ramos landing with both the right and left, but Hill seemed to accept it extremely well. That was the best punch of the fight. The right and then followed by the left. But Hill has shown that he can take Ramos's best and come right back. The one thing we've noticed about the Korean lad. He must be careful coming out of those clinches because he starts firing. As he pulls back, he starts firing with both hands. Brought a cheer from the crowd, but it was blocked by the glove of Hill. Oh, what a chin has Sook Kang.
We're in the final minute of round three. Sellout crowd of over 10,000. And Su Kang Il in the light trunks from Korea, very impressive, winning the first two rounds in this reporter's eyes. And it wasn't until the middle of this round that Ramos unloaded the best combination of the fight. The right followed by the left. Ramos in the dark trunks not moving well in the early rounds and saw Kang Il only 23 years old from Korea completely outboxed him. But here in the third round Ramos has held his own and has landed the heavier punches. Good right hand underneath by Ramos. And he hurts Il with that right hand. The Korean hanging on at the end of round three.